This is our target. Kendall, what'd you get down there? Uh, we hit it a few times. You did. I would claim the one that's like right there. Yeah, this one's the one. And then the I, second one was there and the third one was also okay, there. Yeah. the channel guys hey everyone welcome back to walker farm fam thanks for stopping by if this is your first time here i'm gary i'm ransom and ransom sorry buddy we're leaving where's mom and daddy going we can't say it we can't say it why not because you don't want to tell them no okay well we're gonna go on a special adventure we're waiting on somebody to come along with us they're gonna ride down to a different state we're going a whole state away aren't we Alabama? Uh, no, not Alabama. Texas? Oh, Texas. Ransom got that right. So we'll, we'll, we won't tell you anymore until we get there. But we have some great people taking care of Ransom and Ranger and Mazzy for a couple of days while Cassie and I go down to a little adventure. All right? You going to be good while we're gone? Yep. You going to take special care of all the animals? Yep. Or you're not going to drive through the mud, are you? You are? Oh, no. We're in trouble. So Mazzy has been practicing violin. Went to how many practices now? Three? Two. Two practices? So she wants to give you guys a quick update before we leave. All right, let's hear it, sis. She's been learning how to hold it and how to hold the... Good job, Mazzy. Cassie, you got everything loaded up? I think so. I'm more than ready. Who are you waiting on now? Uh, Doug, keeping it Dutch, running late. What? So, a couple minutes late, you want to leave him? You think if we start driving towards Texas, he would catch up with us? Uh, he'd probably uh, not be very happy because he already asked if we would uh, <laughs> not leave him. So, he's on his way though, so we have a special guest riding with us today, keeping it Dutch, and somebody else? Feels so important. Yeah, Hadley's coming with us and keeping it Dutch, and it's gonna be an awesome week. Can't wait. Have you told him what we're doing? So I told him we're going to Texas. Ransom, okay. Ransom said he wasn't gonna tell him. He thought it was a secret. I didn't tell him it was, so you do wanna keep it a secret? Gary's gonna... hat gives it away though. Okay, go ahead and tell him. Uh, we are going to Texas to the Long Range Shooting School. Gary got to do uh, last year, and he was able to kill a hog and went doe hunting. Uh, today, or this week, we're just doing the shooting school. We're going to meet some amazing people there that we've never met, see some old friends. It's going to be awesome. All right, Cassie. You said you wanted to go somewhere nice for the weekend. What do you think? Looks pretty legit so far. Sean and, Sean and Hadley were sticking their thumbs out on the road. That's so nice. We picked them up. Yep. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> So we made it into our room. Cassie, are you uh I'm most impressed. Are you impressed? I am. All right. So I told her it was going to be good, but we got a little more than we bargained for, didn't we? Yeah. So Greg Ray and Outdoor Solutions guys hooked us up. This was all displayed very nicely, but I started I was videoing for Instagram and Facebook and I kind of went through it all, but this is a camera that you put on your scope so they can see what you see yeah film through your scope so super excited about that this is a spotter yep a tac cam solo some battery chargers sd card probably for hats the camera. you know we love hats but look at this thing it is a tripod for your pew pew so not only that but we're, what about the food tonight we'll go ahead and throw some pictures well, up right now You videos. guys know I love a good hoodie. Oh yeah. And they gave us each a hoodie. 
super soft and a t-shirt. The food on a scale from one to 10 was like a 15. So everybody's excited to see you come down here and Cassie is the only woman here. So well, Hadley. Well, yeah, Hadley. <laughs> well, and so we'll see. But I'm guessing in the competition, Cassie's going to be at top of the top of the list. That's my bets. I don't know. I feel like a lot of pressure because one of the instructors picked me to do the best. So, so some of the other faces they might see tomorrow. So Kendall Gray is here. Rangers, a huge fan of Kendall Gray. Um, he, we have spent the evening with him. Awesome guy, super nice guy. If you ever wondered, is he really genuine and great? He's he's an awesome guy. Uh, Hootie Who is here. If you wondered if he is as tall as he looks, he's even taller. Um, and the Arms Family Homestead, you guys know we've been friends with them for a while and keeping it Dutch. And then the Long Range um, Shooting School um, Outdoor Solution guys. So we'll be putting all these people in the comments. We'll be tagging their channels. Make sure you guys go check them out. But we're here with some really awesome people. Yeah. So it's the next morning and we got a good night's sleep, had an awesome breakfast. And today is the day we get to go to the range where Cassie is going to work on her fractions. Oh geez. That's the, that's the thing I'm most nervous about. I'm not nervous at all about shooting a gun. I'm nervous about math. So last night we went through um, a safety class and um, some just basic information about whenever you're spotting and whenever you're on the range and MOA. What's MOA, Cassie? A uh, minute of <gasps> angle. Minutes of angle, minutes of angle. So we learned all that stuff. So today we're going to go out and put some of the stuff we learned into practice. I have good faith that she's going to show up, everybody. She's going to be the top one here. <laughs> all right, Cass? I don't know about that, but right. I'm going to do my best. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun. We want to share this experience with you guys in case you're interested in coming here. Outdoor Solutions does an awesome job. They think of every detail from the minute you wake up to the time you go to bed. To hats, to shirts, to food, to all the things. Yeah. So we can't wait to uh, share this. So here's to a great day. <laughs> Been practicing? Man, he's just like. Hey, Matt. I got like three turkeys. Eric is going with the help of you guys. He's going to go through safety brief real quick. And uh, then Eric's going to spend about 30 minutes just going through some basics. And then we'll get you guys behind the rifles. We'll do some dry fire first. Uh, then we'll go live just starting at 100. And then we'll progressively work out as we go. Right now, you're just looking at the sky. Because in order to set your ocular focus, we want to look at something like very monochromatic. So, yeah, just roll that back and forth like binoculars until the reticle in there is super crisp. Like the Mossberg shotgun, it's on the tang. So when the safety is pulled back, we're holding the bullets back and it's on safe. And when we push the safe forward, then it's we're shooting them and setting them down range. So right now you are off safe. Anywhere from the center line, yeah. on the safety, on that side is fine. If it starts creeping over here, then after a couple of rounds, you're going to start gripping. But it's okay having it up. Yeah. Uh, up on, the, on the safety feels the best. Yeah. Oh, it made me really nervous. Uh, does it make you nervous? Makes me nervous? Yeah, does no. this pick the win? No, I'm, I'm thinking Hadley's going to win. Right. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty safe bet. My, bet, yeah. my money's on Hadley or Cassie. I'm too worried about the yeah, fractions. Go. All, right. All right, guys, uh, come on back down. Get a little, a little more malleable. Yeah, you just think the big guy knew his big work. <laughs> do you ever, uh, on Call of Duty, do you ever pick up sniper rifles? Do you like those or do you like the, the machine guns? Machine gun so the sniper rifles on Call of Duty are on. The first thing you got to do is confirm to each other what you're shooting. Right? <laughs> Shooter ready? Send it. Kick it So just for the sharp's purposes only. Uh, all right, now see how that one came back into the center? Uh -huh. We are at uh, uh, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, right on top of the other one. Yeah, that was the same spot. You put a job on the hole. So. Down. Alright, so you are good. There you so go. Action, rope, and safety on and rope it. What do you think? Pretty awesome. You learning something? Don't shoot this way. I know nothing about scopes until today. 
Who says like you can't that? teach him? I just put the cross arrows and pull the trigger. I don't know anything about scopes. Who yeah, says you? Yeah. So that's clean. Who says you can't teach a crazy chicken lady new tricks? So you're, not, you're not using it. Right, right. Okay. So looking pretty good. But I can already see some tendencies. So we're going this way. Yeah. But my feet are going this way. Okay. And where if I took you off this chair, mm -hmm. I know your hips would start to go this way. So always think of, I always want to point my toes at what I'm doing. 400 yards, T4. Spotters up. Shooters ready. Send it. It's like, it's just over. Three o'clock. You took four shots, okay? To between target T4 and T5. Right, so you're off right. Shooters ready. Send it. Mm -hmm. okay, how far are you out to now? 400 yards. 400 yards. Uh, it's hard to see. It's going to be that one somewhere in the center over there. All right, Cassie just shot 500 yards dead center. Can you do it twice? If my spotter will get ready. I'll be ready. 500, it's time for lunch. What do you think so far? It's pretty cool. Can we build one of these at the house? Uh, we may need to extend it out a little bit, but hey, I know I know a place I think we can get one. So, r learning, redoing your whole technique is not easy, but um, what they teach works 100%. What I'm used to doing is my biggest weakness. So it's definitely uh, worth it to come and learn what we should be doing and to improve our, our skills in the fields. So. Yeah, even if you are a decent shooter, coming here and learning these techniques will make you fine tune. Is this a big morel mushroom? Uh, they grow them big in Texas. So we are up to 700 yards. You ready for this? I am. We got to move it to 16. 616 and 0.6, so it'll be 16 and a half. Yep. So we're using our Geo Ballistics app. It gives us the um, adjustments for the scope as we go along. Seems to be working pretty good. Hey, it has good shot. Hey, All right. Good 700 shot. T4. Beautiful. Spot ready. Shooters ready. Yeah. Send it. What should she just do? Get that. Can she just hit nine? Okay, ready. Send it. Impact. Windage is good. Just reaching nine. Eight. Back to 900. Nine. Okay. 24.9, so 25. 25 on the scope. 900 yards. All right, Cass. I got the good stuff to help me out. All right. It's what you came here for. 1,000 yard shot. No pressure. No pressure. All right. Spiders up. 1,000 T4. Wind is looking fairly calm. Thousand T four. Wind is actually not looking too bad, so let's try uh, hold true. Shooters ready. Far as upside. Nice, huh? Okay, elevation's good. Off right edge. Shooters ready. Send it. Shooters ready. Impact, same old re-engage. Woo! Woo! Thousand yards. Now, Houston, line up for his first. Oh, Tim. your shoulder. At one. Ready? All right. Yeah. Pretty good for a squirrel, I think Kendall just shot my target. <laughs> Miss to the right. Dang. Two for nine. That ain't bad there. Two for nine. <laughs> <laughs> a little older, he'd be hitting it. Alright, Cassie, go stand in front of your target. Hang on, let me hit the middle for <laughs> Knock some paint off of the very center of that if you would. <laughs> that was our shot. All right, so this is our target. Kendall, what'd you get down there? Uh, 
We hit it a few times. You did. I would claim the one that's like right there. Yeah, this one's the one. And then the second one was there and the third one was also there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, all three shots right in the center. Yeah. But at a Look at this one, Gary. Oh, did you find one too? Yeah, you missed this one. That was the one you missed target. It's crazy. If you see one that's really clean and fresh like that one, yeah. that one was definitely shot today. Yeah. How fresh it is and the grooves and all that. I feel like you could use these for weights for fishing or something. Drill a hole in it or Repurpose. Something. Look at this one you found. Oh, that's yours. You found it. Oh, wow. That's cool. That one, like, didn't do nothing. You guys really trust her to drive? Yeah. No. Not really, but oh, hang I don't on. Want to walk. Ah, see, that's where that's how it starts. <laughs> see how it ends. Dutch, Gary won't buy me one of these, so I gotta drive it the whole week for here so I can. It'd be the best thing you bought for the farm. I he promise says, you. He says I have a 1960. So we made it to day two, Cassie. You did awesome yesterday. This is really day three. Well, it's day three. That's right. But a second <laughs> full day of activities yes. are planned today. We started off with breakfast this morning, having a great time with um, some other friends and some new friends. Yes. So today we are not going to be on the range. It's not going to be as organized where we know where each and every location for our targets are. It's going to be very sporadic. Yeah, they're going to put us in scenarios, have different uh, 3D targets to shoot at and things like that. So very excited about that. Yeah. So we're going to bring you guys along and like I said, if you're interested at all or you know a person that hunts or is into firearms, you should definitely check out Outdoor Solutions because what they offer here is unique and once in a lifetime opportunity. From skill level 0 to 100, everybody can learn something. How do you know it's mine? Got your uh, uh, brand on. Oh, that's it right there. Called in Annie Oakley. You're not going to miss today, are you? We were just talking about just a minute ago. So today is uh, just basically it's hunting scenarios. I know pretty much everybody in here is, is hunters. Um, I, I apologize to Kendall. We don't have any trees for, for pretending we're shooting <laughs> squirrels, but we may be able to come up with something. 2024, we'll right? We'll, yeah, we'll see what we can do for you. <laughs> we may just add a, a new stage just for you. <laughs> After lunch, we'll be up on the plateau. And it's supposed to be really windy this afternoon. It's supposed to be good. Yeah, so we'll be up there. We'll be shooting out into that CRP. And then uh, we'll be shooting back to the west towards the uh, towards the double mountains. I treat the glassing position a lot like the shooting. If you can get it nice and balanced and sit there for a while, it's probably also a good shooting position. If you're trying to shoot and you're struggling to maintain it, you know that's what we need to work on today. So we're not in that situation. It's going to be kind of challenging because sitting is not really a. The older we get, well, for me. It's kind of more difficult to get into like a crisscross applesauce type position and then get out of it. Mm -hmm. So agree that this may not be like the best position that you would ever choose when you go hunting, but we just want to put you all in it to see how you, how you do with it. Mm -hmm. So today we are in these um, different scenarios. So every uh, scenario in hunting is going to be different. So we're going to be going through learning different things that we need to do to improve. Uh, to make the correct placement every time. Usually I just wrap up and set like a pretzel and pray for the best, but they're teaching us how to actually do it right. So there's gonna be less praying involved? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Impact, so lower left. Water ready. Send it. Impact. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty shot. So this one is a 580 yard shot setting using the uh, pods over here. So let's see what we can do. So those spawning scopes are set up on it. Um, it's the best thing to do. Boom. Impact. Half an inch, two o'clock. Or half a minute. Cheers, ready? Send it. Five chefs. Or a team of our hounds. Yeah. 
Also. Impact, same old. Air drop is to you. Hadley, you gonna go off grid in there? It's like a good spot. What is that? I got some of you. That's a tag off of the ear of the animal. You know, so now if you're flying, now I've got a nice contrast between the ground and, and something there. So even if it's some people hiking over the other side, they see some orange smoke, what's that gonna do for them? All right, so 200 yard shot. Let's see what we got. Send it. Impact. All right, do it again. Wind was the. Impact. Do it again. You know, missed the second. So I'm spotter and I'm second round. Yeah. And what's the distance? 470. Okay, so it'll be 8.6. Yeah, I think we were 8.5. Okay. Just a minute ago, and they were, I would say they were a little high, but on. So I would do 8.5 and just kind of favor low. Okay. But so you'll listen for him, especially on this one, the commands are going to be important. So he's going to say, spotter ready, shooter ready, send it, bang, bang. So and you good? should get that ding, ding. Okay. When he says send it, though, if I need to take a second or two, he's just, he's, he's just waiting. Waiting for my shooter ready, send it. Nice! <laughs> you want to do it one more time? That's pretty quick. cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, I want the truth. Who's the best shooter? Right? Hadley's out shooting. <laughs> Hadley, you and Hadley are <laughs> the best. She's out shooting everybody. She, Not just me. Hold on, Hadley. She's an animal. Yeah, she's doing awesome. She's doing awesome. I know she would do good. It's fun to watch, too. And then you can also use that back there for a third of turns. Send it. Impact. Not the two that are over by the, the water, but the one that's in the clear. In front of the dirt pile? Yep, it's about 550 yards. Oh, goodness. Bro. Yes. So it's kind of a, a U shape. Shooter ready. Perfect. Well, that was that easy. Was the lower right quarter of that. No, that my back's broken. Yeah. Are we just poking? Are we not ready? I was born ready. Just checking. Oh. You ain't first, you're last. I don't, I don't like a whole lot of extra talking out of you guys. Mac. Water's ready. Shooter's ready. End it. Impact. Dude, right on. I like, worked a little while. You drop it. Do one more, okay? Did you hold on, on the target again? The wind's getting that now. Boom! Almost a bullseye. Good job. How many yards? 705. 705. 705. Push left three. Get back. Half a minute. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing. Shooter ready. Have you shot everything? Send it. Alright. Impact. Right on the very left edge. Ready. Shooter ready. Send it. Same spot. Three o'clock. So we're in the middle of our second full day of shooting and we just shot 880 Yeah. with yeah. lots of wind. <laughs> it's a lot different than what it was yesterday because of the wind and you could see all the different um, positions that we have to get in and different... Your gun's not in a vice. Yeah, it's not, it's <laughs> not a perfect um, related or uh, controlled environment. So learning a lot, especially um, about things that we can apply when we get back and we get into the woods and we're on a hunt. So. Yeah, so if you guys haven't looked into it yet, 
the Long Grain Shooting School um, it teaches you lots of things. Like I said, all of us out here have hunted for a long time, but every one of us has learned something and able to perfect something um, that we were maybe weak in. But also, they also have field to table events, they have hunts, they got all sorts of stuff. So you guys make sure you check out their website and their social media. They've been absolutely awesome to us, and when you're here, you'll be treated like ro royalty. Yeah. A little bit spoiled, to say the least. <laughs> We're gonna get some glue and glue that thing to you. I wasn't in the car yet. Daniel was talking to me. <laughs> it's my fault. Yeah, she tells it's she my, blames my fault. a man. And she's the only woman here, and she's making well. There's making no the women to blame. So. <laughs> All right, Cassie, what's this one? First one is 400. Second one is 582. Look like just low. He's making serial numbers. One more. Yeah. We're back in the range. Want to tell them what we're doing? Yeah. So we are setting our gun up for for one yardage, and then we are holding for a further yardage. I don't know the technical terms, but that's how it should sound in my head. So you're you're getting a different yardage. Dial and hold. So if you got one, boom. Cassie? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. You guys go off fast that time. Nice. Got it. That was pretty good. You guys are still fast out here. You guys are too fast this time, Sean. One. Still too fast. Who's shooting on one down there? Who's shooting on one? Who's this? So, you don't shoot until the person to your left shoots. So I'll give a ready up command, and that's for Kendall. We'll just work our way down the line. Just feel like an old Civil War cannon barrage. All right, you only fire when the person to your left fires. Kendall, you ready? Yep. Flies ready, up. Unfortunately, there is one bad day when you come to Outdoor Solutions, and that's the day you got to leave. Yep. yep. It's always a sad day. No, <laughs> Cassie, this was your first experience. I got to come do the field to table. I absolutely loved it, but what did you think? Oh, it exceeded my expectations. So, um, like I've said, and you guys have seen, I've hunted and shot my whole life, but I learned a ton. And um, the things they taught and the things we were able to do was something like once in a lifetime. And so I truly appreciate it. And you guys probably um, saw him running around like a madman. <laughs> but I, I, we told you about him earlier, but this is the man, Greg Ray. Um, he is the guy in charge here at Outdoor Solutions. So, Greg, you want to tell him a little more about what you do? Yeah, yeah absolutely. First, thank you all so much for coming out. So we, um, we actually met these guys at a conference that we all did almost a year ago it was a during year the summer. in yeah. august yeah so just yeah um anyway and, and then some of the other uh youtubers that are here too that you all probably know and uh man everybody's been so welcoming and uh, allowing us within their community and stuff so man we, we sure appreciate the friendship and have an opportunity to hang out with this you. is our 19th year in business and we have four different locations that we do these long range schools at Texas is our home away from home. We're fellow Okies uh, with the Walkers. They're only about 40 minutes from myself and, and my wife, Deborah. 
Uh, but anyway, we gear mostly towards hunters and we supply everything. We've got really nice lodge that you come to stay at, usually three nights, two and a half days. We supply all the firearms, the optics, the ammo, everything. It doesn't matter if you've never handled a firearm in your life or if you've been to numerous other schools. Uh, everybody is welcome and our instructors do a great job. We had Houston here who's 10 years old. He's the youngest ever to come through our class. And then uh, little Hadley who's just a little fierce <laughs> fireball that she's super quiet but boy she lets her shoot and do the do the yep. talking and, and man she just jumped right in so anyway everybody is is uh, welcome here to what's the uh, oldest person you ever had come through your class he was almost 90 almost 90 and and he was um him and his son his son was my age or actually his son was a little bit older than me and they were preparing for a trip to go to uh, Africa. Awesome. awesome. At, at 90 years old. So if, they were ready after this. Yes. If someone says, well, Texas is kind of far, where are the other locations at? Okay, so we've got um, we've got two here in Texas and we've got uh, one in Michigan and one in Utah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So all the details is gonna, are going to be down in the description. So if you're interested, you can't be too young. It doesn't sound like. No. <laughs> 10 years old to 90 is a pretty good range. That's a good spread, yes. So you, you guys go check it out. Yep, check it out, and then uh, there are a lot of good um, tips, and actually they can see uh, videos on our YouTube channel where they can see exactly w what to expect, and there's videos for each specific location too, so they can check it out that way. Yeah. yeah. Don't even have to leave your living room. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. We just made it home, Cassie. What do you see that's out of place? Oh, uh, we got a cow in our front yard. Cows are out. Good thing we got Dutch to help us Let's get round them up. We got Hadley here <laughs> to get them. I think Blackberry. Blackberry, come on. Come on, baby. All right, let's go. Guys, go around. Blackberry, not nice. You stay in. Stay in there. You stay in. So we just made it back onto the farm. Welcome home. Nothing says welcome home like Blackberry being out. Silly girl, but she loves the front yard and wasn't going anywhere. And I think this wind may have had something to do with it. This wind is blowing ridiculous. Probably I think 40, I lost my hat seven times while out there. 30 or 40 miles an hour. So we're thankful to be home. The kids are almost home too. But we're going to go ahead and end the video because Ransom has to head to baseball. One yeah. of his games that we were going to miss got rain delayed and we get to watch it today. So don't forget to go check out Outdoor Solutions. Their link is down in the description. And we had a wonderful time there. If you take a trip like that, you'll have a great time too. Yeah, highly recommend it. So we hope you have a great day and God bless. Love you guys.